I got married in June 2015. While I can't tell you the best person for you to marry, I can tell you the wrong person to marry, especially if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. As always, this video is a product of my personal experience and the experience of the people around me. I hope it helps you, especially if you're single. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. The Story of My Friend I have a friend who I like so much because we lived for about three years in the same room. When we lived together, our dream was to be successful entrepreneurs. But as time went by, I went fully into business world and he decided to wait a little more, get some job and prepare to start a business in the future. Years after then, he got married and all the red signals started showing from his wedding day. While planning their wedding, his wife insisted that the wedding must be done in an honorable way, meaning that the wedding must be elaborate because the wedding day is the most important day of her life. After the wedding, wasting the money they didn't have on the wedding, the wife continues in her way to complain about the husband not having this or that. Without dragging the story too long, the woman is a gold digger. Don't marry such a woman if you're planning to be an entrepreneur. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that women who love good things in life are bad or evil. I'm only saying that they are not good for you especially if you're just starting in business. If you're Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, yes, you can marry the most expensive woman in the world because you have a lot of money to spare. But if you're just building a business, you don't need the gold diggers. You don't need the gold diggers because running a startup requires a whole lot of sacrifice, not just for you but everyone in your life. I'm sorry, you shouldn't buy a new car. You should not even buy an expensive used car. You shouldn't buy that shiny furniture and you shouldn't buy any clothes she sees with other women. What you want to do when you're just starting in business is to live like a slave for a few years. You want to wear neat clothes but you don't want those expensive designers. You want to live in a neat house but not the first class homes. If you have a wife who wants to drag you into spending every dollar you make, then you'll never be able to save or build a successful business. I know some women who will watch this video and be angry at what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I never intend to hurt you. I didn't make this video for you but for men. Not even all men but for men who want to build a successful business. Whoever can't see tomorrow shouldn't be in your life. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm imposing my philosophy on you. It's just what I think. If anyone is going to live with me forever, I want to be sure such a person can sacrifice today for tomorrow. If you're a woman and I notice that you can't let today go because of tomorrow, then I won't even think of marrying you. When I met my wife about nine years ago, I was a broke guy with no money. When we got married four years ago, we had to decide to invest almost everything we earn and leave like slaves. Even when we made more money than most people around us, we still lived as though we were broke and that was how we increased our assets to a point where we now have everything we need. I can make this video longer than this but I'll stop here. Don't marry anyone who can't make sacrifices for tomorrow if you want to be an entrepreneur. And if this video offends you in any way, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next but before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.